Hello students, welcome to physics learning point. In this video, we will learn about chemical bonding. In previous class, you have learned different laws of chemical combinations. During a chemical combination, the atoms of different elements are combined. Why the atoms are combined together? Let us learn. When two atoms sufficiently come close to each other, then two forces come to play in between them. One is attraction force and the second one is repulsive force. The attraction force is between the electrons present in outermost orbits. This outermost orbits electrons are said to be valence electrons. So the electrons which present in outermost orbit of an atom called valency electrons. The attraction forces come to play between these valence electrons and the nucleus of the second atom. Generally the positive charge present in the nucleus and the valency electrons have negative charge. The attraction force is between the valency electrons of first atom and the nucleus of the second atom. Similarly, the valence electrons of second atom, the attraction force is present between the valency electrons of second atom and the nucleus of the first atom. So this is about attraction force between two atoms. And also the repulsive force is present between the valency electrons of two atoms. So two atoms have valency electrons and they have negative charge. Then the repulsive force between the electrons present in outermost orbit of two atoms. And one more repulsive force acts between the nucleus of two atoms. So because both have positive charge in the nucleus. So the repulsive force come to play in between the valency electrons of two atoms. Similarly, that nucleus of two atoms. So here the attraction force and repulsive force acts between two atoms. The combination of atoms decided by the strength of these forces. If attraction force is greater than repulsive force, then the two atoms are combined. If the repulsive force is greater than attractive force, then there is no formation of bond. And in the chemical reaction, the inner orbits and the no nucleus, there is no change in the nucleus and inner orbits of the atom only the valency electron cause for the chemical combination of the atoms. The chemical bond is nothing but the attraction force between two atoms to form a stable compound. If you observe the long form of periodic table, the atoms in the first group elements have the valency electrons only one. In second group elements, all the elements from top to bottom, they have two electrons in the outermost orbits. Okay, two electrons, valency electrons are two for the second group elements. Similarly, 13 or third A group elements, they have three electrons in the outermost orbits, valency electron. Similarly, if you come to 18th group or 8 A group elements, they have 8 electrons in outermost orbit. So here this 18th group elements or 8 A group elements are said to be inert gases, noble gases. Because the chemical reactivity of that elements, that gases are almost zero no chemical reactions for the 18th group elements. 
they unreactive with other atoms so based on observation of the electronic configuration of these 18th group elements scientist got an idea about the chemical combination of the different atoms because this 18 group elements have no chemical reactive no reactivity and all other elements by losing or gaining the electron or sharing with sharing the electrons with other atoms or other elements the atoms try to get eight electrons in its outermost orbits to get eight electrons it participates in the chemical reactions all the atoms undergo chemical changes to leave eight electrons in its outermost orbit and and it gets the inert gas nearest inert gas configuration and this is said to be having eight electrons in outermost orbit is said to be octet rule so all the elements whatever it may be sodium it want to get eight electrons extra one electron it has one electron in its outermost orbit it loses one electron then it gets eight electrons in its orbit in inner orbits so it becomes stable similarly let us consider oxygen its atomic number is eight then in first orbit it has two electrons in second orbit it has six electrons so in first orbit it has two electrons and in second orbit it has six electrons so if it gets eight electrons in second orbit it becomes stable then electrons to leave eight electrons in its outermost orbit it undergo chemical changes then it gets two electrons it then it uh, gets eight electrons in its outermost orbit then oxygen becomes stable so in this way to get eight electrons in its outermost orbit all the elements undergo chemical changes and lewis introduced a new method to indicate outermost electrons or valence electrons present in the atom and this is said to be lewis symbol or lewis dot structure for example atomic number of sodium is 11 and it has two electrons in its first orbit so two electrons in the first orbit and in the second orbit it has eight electrons eight electrons in second orbit and then it has only one electron in outermost orbit so it can be written as in first orbit it has two electrons in second orbit it has eight electrons in third orbit it has only one electron then the inner orbits including nucleus is denoted with the symbol the symbol of that element sodium symbol is Na then the outermost electrons are denoted as a dot or a cross mark so we can represent it as a dot or either cross mark this is called lewis dot structure or lewis symbol lewis introduced this symbol to represent the outermost orbits electrons or valency electrons present in the atom similarly let us consider the oxygen oxygen its atomic number is h in first orbit generally first orbit holds only two electrons in second orbit it has six electrons six electrons so the this is the outermost orbit so inner orbit the first orbit and the nucleus is denoted with its symbol and the outermost orbits electrons or valency electrons are denoted as the dots around the symbol and this is called lewis dot structure similarly that organ 
argon has its atomic number is 18 and in first orbit it has two electrons in second orbit it has eight electrons in third orbit also it has eight electrons and the Lewis symbol for argon is the inner orbit two orbits and the nucleus is denoted with its a symbol and outermost orbits electrons dots or cross marks so this is a simple way to understand how many electrons are present in outermost orbit of a atom and based on this the oxygen has only six electrons then here if it gets eight electrons as argon then oxygen also stable and nitrogen also nitrogen then nitrogen nitrogen n its atomic number is seven then nucleus and first orbit two electrons and second orbit it has five electrons then so inner orbit and nucleus is denoted with the symbol of nitrogen then outermost orbits electrons valence electrons then i am here writing with cross marks here nitrogen has only five electrons to get stability like argon it needs three more electrons to get these three electrons it participate in the chemical reaction or chemical combination so this is about why the atoms are combining with each other and the octet rule and lewis dot structure in next class we will discuss about electronic theory of valence thank you